Hello. These are my Musa Bajju Hardy Green Banana. I think also known as Japanese Green Banana. Uh, there are about four or five tall ones in this border and around the base, seven or eight little tiny pups. Now, these keep getting taller and taller every year and these are now heading into their third season in the ground. So they will have gone through two whole winters. The reason they get taller every year is because I take measures to protect the pseudo trunk. I'm saying pseudo because it's not a true trunk. The trunk or the stem is made up of the leaves as they grow up out of the ground. Now, it is a hardy banana, but I think technically really that means just root hardy in the UK. And those trunks will not survive a deep frost because the water in the cells of those trunks freezes and expands and pops all the cells. So if you don't protect them, they will die down to ground level. And for some people, that's perfectly fine. And indeed, the little baby pups at the bottom there, I might let them die down to ground level. But I will be taking steps to protect these pseudo trunks on these wonderful Musa Bajju. My objective is that they'll get bigger and bigger and eventually I'll have leaves at the top of that wall and all I'll see is a lovely trunks. May even eventually one day get fruit on them. Who knows? Now, if you want to know how I go about protecting the trunks of the hardy green banana, there is a video on my channel and I will link to it at the end of this one. But in this video, I'm just going to give you my shopping list, the things that I've bought in advance to protect the trunks. It's October, it's mild, it's deceptively warm, but very soon the weather person is going to give us frost and it could well be a sudden hard frost just around the corner. So you need to have this stuff in, in stock, ready to run out and protect your bananas. So what do I buy in advance? Well, let me show you. The first thing I've got here is some insulation. Now, this is synthetic. It feels lovely and it feels very woolly, but it's synthetic. It's actually made out of recycled plastic bottles, which makes me feel great because I love the idea of the fact that those plastic bottles are getting a second use. And actually, they're not getting a second use because I've used this for several years now. They're getting a second and third and fourth and fifth use. So that can be used ad infinitum. Now, because it's synthetic, it doesn't hold on to water like woolen insulation will do. It doesn't absorb water, it lets the water run through. Now hopefully, and you'll see this in a minute, no water will actually get to that and it'll just stay dry and woolly and cosy. Anyway, the first line of defense is this synthetic wool feeling insulation. Now where did I get that from? I actually got that from B&Q. It looks like this. Last year it was in their Dial product range. I don't know if they're still using Dial as a, as a trading uh, name, but anyway. Um, plastic loft insulation made from recycled plastic bottles. You can buy it from B&Q. I will put a link to a similar product in the description box below this video. So that will be an Amazon link. So you can buy it through one of my Amazon links. And if you do that, I will get a commission, which I appreciate. Otherwise, feel free to run down to B&Q and buy some of this lovely woolly synthetic insulation. Now, what I will do with that, I'll cut the leaves off the top and I'll keep as much of the trunk, pseudo trunk, as I possibly can. And then I'll wrap that round it and I'll, tw I'll tie it with twine, garden twine. So that's the second item on the shopping list. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. My objective is that you buy all your things through my links. You don't have to leave the house and they can all be delivered to you. Anyway, some garden twine, pretty straightforward. And I'll tie that around in a kind of white tubular uh, cylinder as high up as I want on the trunk. Now, I want to stop water from getting into there. Ideally, I'd like to stop it from getting wet at all. So, the third item on my shopping list is this weed fabric. I'm saying fabric like that because I don't mean the plastic woven membrane because that's not breathable enough for my liking. I will use that in other areas of the garden. It's great under gravel and it's great for um, low maintenance areas of the garden. Uh, but I won't be using that on the bananas. On the bananas, I'll be using this fabric. Incidentally, 
if you want to cut this there's a great hack to cut this it's very easy i, I always use these um haberdashery or sewing scissors again I bought them off amazon they're really for uh, indoor use and cutting material but i found them brilliant in the garden for cutting weed fabric and horticultural fleece but if you use them on this because it's woven it has a tendency to fray and, and leave kind of ribbons of tape all over the, the garden so the hack that i discovered and i discovered it on a youtube video where somebody had bought a heat knife they'd spent 90 pounds on a heat knife to cut their fabric and it welds it as it cuts it i've got a 15 pound soldering iron in my shed and i tried that now obviously do it outdoors uh, you know, it fumes indoors and, and, and you know protect your hands from burning but a soldering iron that cost me 15 pounds just cuts through it and welds it it sears it stops it from fraying i digress that's beside the point that's for another project but that completes my musa bajju winter protection shopping list you'll find all the links in the description box below this video first line of defense a synthetic woolen style insulation made out of recycled plastic bottles some twine for tying it around the trunk some fabric which is the second line of defense which gets wrapped around the outside of the white insulation and you'll you'll tie that up again of course with that <coughs> now somebody said to me did you put anything in the top well i don't um one time i left the top leaf on because I thought that would be a good starting point, but it soon perished. So folded the top leaf over and then put a little hood of insulation and uh, fabric on top and tied it down like a big tube, a big cosy tube. And that will protect that as much as it possibly can in the UK from freezing. Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it's been useful. Don't forget all the links in this description box below this video. Uh, but of course, you can also go to B&Q that's at B&Q. It lasts forever. You can use it year after year. See you soon for some more Musa Bajdu protection adventures. Bye for now.